Chris Rodinas, Research Analyst for IT Creations, and today we will be looking at HP's ProLiant SL390S G7 server and the SL6500 scalable system chassis. The SL6500 is a multi-node chassis and when used with the SL390S G7 brings scalability, efficiency and manageability to your high density computing solution. Shared power and cooling reduces wasting of resources and individual nodes can be configured and serviced independently. Up to eight SL390S nodes can be installed into the chassis, which makes this a great solution for high performance computing or flexible virtualizations. The SL6500 scalable system for you chassis can house a variety of ProLiant SL servers, but today we will be looking at the SL390S G71U half width server node. This node comes equipped with one PCIe expansion slot, up to 384 gigabytes of memory, up to four small form factor SATA, SAS, or solid state drives, onboard NICs, an optional InfiniBand port, and support for up to two Intel Xeon 5500 or 5600 series CPUs. Our SL6500 measures 17.6 inches wide, 7 inches tall, and about 36 inches long, and can weigh around 220 pounds, depending on your configuration. On the front bezel, you'll see the low-profile X16 PCIe Gen 2 port, the optional InfiniBand QSFP port, two 1 gigabit Ethernet ports, ILO3 dedicated management port, two USB ports, a 10 gigabit SFP Plus port, power button, serial RJ45 port, and video port. Also, note the slightly different placement of the connector ports. The left node will not fit in the right node, and vice versa. On the back of the server, we can see eight non-redundant fans and slots for four hot plug power supplies. We have four 1200 watt 94% efficiency power supplies that supply power to the entire chassis. Inside, we can see each node has two two and a half inch non-hot plug hard drives in a quick release carrier. With another carrier, we can install four drives per node or up to two three and a half inch hard drives. You'll also see 12 DDR3 DIMM slots and two sockets for Intel Xeon processors. Each DIMM slot can support 8500 or 10600 registered memory of sizes 2, 4, 8, 16, or 32 gigabytes and supports single, dual, or quad ranks. The maximum available memory when using our DIMMs is 384 gigabytes. When using UDIMMs, this server can support memory sizes of 1, 2, or 4 gigabytes of single or dual rank and the maximum available memory is 48 gigabytes. The Intel 5520 chipset can support a variety of Xeon 5500 or 5600 series CPUs like the 6-core X5690 and the quad-core E5520. For storage, we have a P212 SAS controller attached to the PCIe expansion slot that supports 3.5 or 2.5 inch SATA, SAS or SSDs and externally attached storage. For networking, the server has an embedded Intel dual port NC362i, one gigabit adapter, and also an embedded NC543i, 10 gigabit ethernet adapter used with SFP plus connectors. With the InfiniBand enablement kit, the optional onboard QSFP IB port becomes available. The operating temperature range is 50 to 95 degrees Fahrenheit, and the noise levels can range from 45 to 51 decibels. For remote management, each node has HP's Integrated Lights Out 3 built in with a dedicated management port. The supported operating systems for this server are Windows Server 2012, 2008, and 2008 R2, Red Hat Enterprise Linux 5 and 6, SUSE Linux Enterprise Server 10 and 11, VMware ESX4, and ESXi 5. That's all for the SL390 SG7 server. For more information, feel free to visit us online at itcreations.com or call us at 800-983-5318. I'm Chris Rodinas and we'll see you next time.